Hi, in this video we're going to basically show you how you can install um, PSS software on your PC or laptop to view your NVO, NVR over your network, okay? So this is the NVR that we're going to uh, try and um, view through the network, okay? It's an Xvision 4 channel NVR. So with this NVR, a CD comes with it and on this CD there's a lot of software and user manuals and things like that. But the software we're looking for uh, in particular here is in this software folder. It's called PSS, and basically it's in this zip file here. So what you want to do is basically copy that to your PC, which I have done here. Sorry, I've done here. And then what you want to do is extract all. Now, I should note that I'm doing this on Windows XP. Uh, the process should be very similar for Windows Vista 7, um, Windows 8, things like this. So when I extract it then, I get a folder here. It, it takes it out of the zip file here and puts it in this folder here. And when I go in here, we have this software here called Pro Surveillance System. Okay. And what we want to do is click on setup.exe. So this whole process will probably take about a minute there. So you can see it's just launched Pro Surveillance System. So we go next. We go next. You can put in the name and organization, you know, of the owner of the software and things like that. I just have, you know, blah, blah in there. It doesn't really matter anyway. Okay. So the next thing then is just click next. And then it asks you where you want to install it. So by default, it should be fine. And um, you just get one other choice then. Is it just, you just want to install it under your own account on the PC or do you want it available to everyone on the PC? So this is a decision you have to make based on security or the people you want to have access to the software, okay? So I'm just going to say just me, but if you wanted to say everyone, you know, you just take that. It's fairly self-explanatory. So the next thing then is just click the next button and click the next button again. So you can see the software going through there now and there's a progress bar um showing you know how far along into the process it is in the installation okay so it doesn't take too long um and when it's installed then uh, it'll just come up and say successfully installed and then you can go and launch it so you can see there we're getting up near the end what i should say here also is there's other ways of accessing the dvr over the network and primarily and we were showing this in another video is you can do it through internet explorer directly by typing in the ip address of the of the nvr and when you do that then it'll ask you to download some things called add-ons and things like that a little yellow bar will appear and say you know this uh, this program wants to add this you know this add-on or active x control something like this and when you say yes and then type in your username and password and all that you can view it directly from your browser but you know some people might just prefer a standalone application so this is what we're showing in this video okay so you can see pro surveillance system has been successfully installed uh click close to exit so that's exactly what we'll do and then to launch it then all we have to do is just go up to this pss software and just click on it basically okay so by default on the four the four channel nvr by xvision uh, the username and password is admin and admin and that's exactly what we're going to use just in this demonstration video but obviously the first one of the first things you should do when you get um, a DVR or NVR or anything like this is change the admin password because, you know, the default username and passwords for all sorts of things will be commonly available on the Internet. And for security reasons, you know, you should change it immediately and um, obviously change it to something semi complicated. But, you know, something obviously that you'll remember, too. So anyway, just for demonstration purposes, using the default logon of admin and admin, we're just going to click login. So it just takes a moment then to load up.